Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. This time last week I did a putting video, sort of just about different head types, and I had a good question regarding counterbalance putters. So I have got one with me here. I've been fortunate enough to be trying this one, and I've tried it on the course. And it's a, they're, they're interesting. So the head is a lot heavier, but that's only to factor in that there's a lot more weight in the shaft and up in the handle. So, although you'll, maybe if you're on their websites or if you look at the brochures on these putters, you'll see that the head is a lot heavier, but it doesn't necessarily feel as heavy when it's factoring how heavy the shaft is. Um, I, I would say, compared to a standard putter, it does feel that little heavier, but certainly not to the extent of if you just got one of these really heavy heads and put it on a standard shaft. The concept behind them is by getting more weight up into the handle, it should it should uh, let you like quieten down your hands, let you improve your stroke. So I went on the Odyssey website last night, and they said 60% of people improve their path when they tried this. That that's a very high number. I, I don't know how they got that number because like I'm I have been on the Sam on the on the Pot Lab and. I wouldn't say I found that it had that much of an effect, but what, what I have found is I can feel how the head is moving. So I feel it gives me some great feedback. So like I said, it's not a magic wand, but I, I feel like it could be a great tool to help me improve because obviously if I'm getting feedback of maybe slight pushes and pulls, I can then try and correct it. So I like the idea of these. Um, do they have any drawbacks? I would say on really slick greens, I would, would be saying, yeah, yeah, give it a go. When the greens are slightly slower, when you've got a putter that's a bit heavier, and this is the case for if you've just got a really heavy head, so that I'm talking like if you say a standard one's about 340, you might get one at like sort of 350, 60. When it's moving slower, it's harder to get the ball to the hole. So these you can get that problem if you part on slightly slower greens um, the, the other interesting thing is it's these have kind of come about because long putters and belly putters are going to be banned next year but it's, it's been interesting that a couple of the guys on tour that use long putters have gone down to the shorter version rather than just going to this one and I think that's probably a feel thing I mean, it, you can feel like the head is moving a little bit more with, without the weight. But like I say, if you're a person that feels like they get a bit um, wristy and lose control of the head, certainly something to try. Uh, thanks for checking the video out. Uh, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that has tried one of these? Or somebody that's currently using one? Because I'd actually like to get your input. And have you found that it really has transformed your putting? Or have you had issues with getting the ball to the hole? Because like I said, that's my, my concern some of the time. Hope to catch you soon.